Four years ago, um, I took my husband to the emergency room for poison ivy and I came in contact with somebody with chicken pox and I didn't know that they was in there. I didn't really know anything about my history as a child. So I didn't know that I didn't have chicken pox. So it put me in so much stress at 34 years old that it gave me an autoimmune disease called sarcoidosis. And um, it, they, when I went to the emergency room, they had found a spot in my lung and they did a biopsy on it. And that's when it came back confirmed as sarcoidosis. And they um, went in and done the biopsy and it made it spread. And it spread throughout my body. Well, I was the paper carrier. I drove 230 miles a night. I had 600 customers all the way from Burton through Port Royal, downtown Beaufort, Ladies Island, and all of St. Helena. And my husband was building houses and working for the construction on military bases and building their offices and barracks and stuff. And I really got sick and I was in a contract and I couldn't just stop because we was already so much invested in it, you know. So my husband had to quit his job and took over my paper route. And he took over my 230 mile a night route with 600 customers. I don't know where I would be with my kids if it went for United Way. I wouldn't have rent, I wouldn't have a deposit. I wouldn't be able to pay my light bill or my water bill. At the end of last year is when I had to go and ask for the help, my kids, they wouldn't have had Christmas. My house was full Christmas morning. It had been my backbone. I don't know where I would be or what I would be doing because I've had so many rejections and so many no's of everybody I've called. I can't put my kids to where they won't have somewhere to sleep, you know? Some of us has just been struck so hard by this. United Way is the only people helping. Thank you. Thank you from my heart. There's people out here that you just wouldn't believe. Somebody's story is worse than mine. But I think for everybody, everybody that's donated a penny or a dollar, I appreciate it. Not just about United Way. They find other sources to help you. And we now have a pre-leased apartment. It should be fixed finished um, they're completely redoing it so it'll be done either the end of this month or the first of June and United Way has stepped in to help me with my my my, my rent.